Today, I'm going to tell you how to take your magnetic drill and make a small drill press out of it. You just simply measure your drill this direction and this direction, which I have four inches by eight inches. And you need to know how far it is out from the front of the base to the center point of your bit, which I have inch and three eighths. And then this is the base. The base is six by ten, six inches wide, ten inches long. This bottom section, the next layer right here, is eight inches wide by fifteen inches long, half inch plate, half inch plate. And then I have two seven eighths by three quarter inch riser blocks right here bolted in so you can adjust your height. Then I have five pins. They're seven eighths in diameter half inch tall held down by allen head bolts you simply set the magnetic reel up on top trap it in between the, all the pins you got a back stop in the rear you got side pins to keep it from shifting and then this center line should be center line of the hole I have a uh, 2 and 7 16 hole here because my machine can drill up to 2 and 3 8 so that gives it clearance. This distance here is set up an inch and a half because this is the maximum amount my bit will go. I can go an inch and a half. My machine I actually have a 1 inch additional piece added into the, the quill that I can remove and put a 2 inch cutter in. So that takes up the difference, the difference of a two inch cutter versus a one inch cutter. And then you simply take a piece of material, which before the magnetic could never stick to this, or even drill a hole in the center because of the small, how small it is. Put a center punch in it, you line it up over where you want to drill, line the center up. You take two 11R vice grips, clamp it on each side firmly. Simply drill a hole. This allows your drill to drill aluminum, copper, brass, stainless, plastic, pretty much whatever you want to do with the drill, and as small as pieces you want. I've had something as small as four by four, eighth inch thick, that I was able to drill a hole with this machine. Now, when you set up the machine for your magnetic drill, there's a couple things you need to know. How far this distance is, which again mine's an inch and three eighths, this magnet must be flush with the front of the table here, and then the center line of the hole right here must be out from the cent from this point to here an inch and three eighths. Of course the hole needs to be in line of center this way. And then you need to have two stops in the front, two stops in the rear to keep the drill from turning. Now, when I put these in the lathe, I put a shim in so they're a bit eccentric. So you can loosen it and turn it a little bit to gain a little tightness on each side. Maybe seven, eight thousand eccentric. And that allows you to tighten this up or loosen it up so it slides in and out. The rear one, in the rear I have a stop in the rear, and that's set by when it's flush with the front. So if your magnet is shorter or longer, then you must make this adjustment. Before you do anything, you need to find out how far will your bit go down. How far below the magnet surface to the edge of here. By hanging it over a table, you can get this measurement. So that's your stroke you're allowed. So that sets up how much distance there is in between here. Now on mine, I have an inch and a half. And you can see my bit is probably, I probably could have gained another half inch. So I have plenty. It's a real easy project. It's all made out of half inch plate as far as this and this. These are three quarter by seven eighths bars that are bolted through to hold it up. This is nothing but a box that is only quarter inch plate. It's pretty simple to build. You can see it's hollow. It's only quarter inch plate. 
and then two bolts hold this to the bottom plate. It's fairly simple. And it will make your magnetic drill a lot more useful in your shop. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.